Anastasia and Anastomoses require very careful and gentle handling of the vessels. They also utilize non-absorbable monofilament sutures with a very careful knot technique. Several throws are needed for each knot. A smooth internal suture line is essential. This exercise requires the use of atraumatic forceps, pot scissors, two bulldog clamps, needle holders, and four rubber shod hemostats. The hemostats should have rubber shods on each end in order to prevent damage to the proline suture material that will be used in the anastomosis. Take a fine pointed blade and make a short stabbing incision in the anterior wall of the simulated artery, taking care not go too deep and penetrate the opposite wall. Then complete the arteriotomy using angled pot scissors. Aim to open the vessel to between one third to one half of its circumference depending on how much access is required. Inspect the lumen using a pair of atraumatic forceps as shown. For primary closure of the arteriotomy use two appropriately sized double-ended arterial sutures. This allows stitching to begin in both corners of the incision and avoids the final suture being placed at the end of the arteriotomy. Commence at one end of the incision passing both needles from inside to out. Tie the suture and ensure that each throw of the knot is laid as a proper reef knot, remembering that several throws are required. Then secure it in a rubber shod hemostat. Take a new suture and insert it in a similar manner at the opposite extreme of the incision, once again going from inside to outside with both needles. Then ligate it using a formal reef knot technique. Place one end in a rubber shod hemostat. Take the other needle and begin suturing from outside to inside on the upstream side of the incision. Then suture from inside to outside on the downstream part of the incision. This is because intimal dissection is most likely on the downstream side once blood flow is restored. It is essential that you have an assistant to follow the sutures to ensure that the correct tension is maintained. Continue until you reach the apex of the vessel. Then start again at the far corner once again, go from outside to inside on the upstream part of the vessel. And inside to outside on the downstream part of the vessel. Continue in the same manner up towards the apex, being careful not to traumatize the vessel wall with your forceps and rolling the needle through the tissues rather than dragging it through. Once the apex has been reached, the two sutures may be ligated. Having flushed the inflow and outflow vessels to get rid of air and thrombus, once again, several throws of a well-formulated reef knot are required before the suture material may be cut. The completed arteriotomy can now be seen with no stenosis.